Hi everybody, this is Mr. Nolan, and uh, what I'm going to show you right now in this video is just a really quick demonstration uh, for what happens when ethanol burns. So this has been the central question of our unit, and uh, so we are going to uh, demonstrate this right now. So what you'll notice, if you think carefully, is that the setup of this experiment, or this, this demonstration rather, is exactly the same as the soda investigation. Uh, we have our two petri dishes. We're going to use bromothymol blue. This will indicate whether there's any change in pH. Uh, and we're also going to use our scale. And so we're going to record uh, some before and after masses uh, in order to sort of answer the question, what happens when ethanol burns? We're going to look at the mass. We're also going to look and see if there are any chemical changes. Uh, so because we are actually burning ethanol, I'm going to make sure that I have my uh, goggles on and I've moved anything uh, that's flammable out of the way um, except for my paper here and uh, so we're going to uh, weigh some ethanol and to do that just like our soda we're going to weigh our dish and our dish comes out as 40 grams uh, 40.21 grams so we've got that there that mass is going to stay the same uh, we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit of alcohol in here, about half full. So this is roughly 90% alcohol and uh, we end up with uh, 79.18 grams and if we subtract the mass of our dish we end up with 38 0.97 grams of ethanol. So the dish and the ethanol are, are almost the same mass. I'm going to take this off of our scale so we have the mass of our ethanol. And we're going to put some BTB right next to it. There. Our BTB is green and what that means is that it's beginning as a, uh, as a a neutral substance and we're going to give go ahead and give this a quick light with our flame so there's a bunch of things that we can observe right now uh, as we're as we're looking at this demonstration the most obvious one is that there's a lot of light being thrown off um, there's 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 brightness there's light there's energy I can feel the flame from all the way over here and I know you're, I'm sort of looking at you through the flame. If I pass my hand over it, there's a huge amount of heat coming off of that flame. You wouldn't want to hold your hand over that flame for very long. So this has burned for a few seconds. Um, there's more than just heat and light that we might observe. We notice that the flame is actually moving. Uh, there's kinetic energy involved. Uh, one thing that you might also notice is that the flame is kind of sitting on top of the ethanol as it burns. It's not like the whole ethanol goes up in flames all at once. It sort of stays put sort of right there. So like the soda investigation, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take this, uh, this, this flame, this, this system that's, that's at work right now, and I'm actually going to cover it with the dish. Now, I'm going to be careful not to get directly over the flame. When I take our dish and place it over the flame, Let's go ahead and first of all just take a look at what happens in that scenario. Okay, so our flame has gone out uh, and you've seen there's condensation that has formed around the inside of our Pyrex dish. You wouldn't want to do this with any glass. I use Pyrex because it's really good for uh, retaining uh, its integrity in spite of heat. And I'm going to actually go away and let this sit for uh, about 15-20 minutes, sort of like the soda investigation, and we're going to take a look and see if we observe any changes in the BTB or if we observe any changes in the, uh, the ethanol. So I'll be back in 15-20 minutes. Okay, about 15 or 20 minutes have gone by and uh, you can tell just by uh, the view there that we have a very significant change in the color of our BTB. Uh, it's gone from uh, a, a green neutral uh, color to this, this bright yellow. And again, I, I didn't put anything inside it. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and, and mass our ethanol now. So I'm going to mass our ethanol. It's still a little warm. And the mass of our ethanol with the dish is 74.58. So what that means is that the mass of our ethanol is now 34.37 grams. So the difference Four point six zero, four point six zero grams, and that's negative four point six zero grams. So what we observe happened is that our ethanol became less massive; it has lost mass. We also observe that our BTB turned yellow, which is really the same thing that happened in the soda investigation. Um, and so what this indicates is that there was a chemical change, uh, and there was also a physical change. We have a a neutral solution that. Uh, absorbed something from the air and it became acidic and then we have our uh, alcohol which actually lost mass and some of that mass showed up in the air a little over four and a half grams of it and so uh, in this video we're not quite going to interpret these results we're not really going to talk about what these mean but that's going to be for another video so until then happy science